Crypto Frog, again, part two of my look at Ethereum, number two, big dong swinger in crypto. If you didn't watch part one yet, come back to this after you've watched that. This is the second and final part uh, of my uh, look at F's switch to POS. Corporations are lining up to build on F. They will need more than 15 transactions a second. Fortune 500 companies developing on Ethereum. There's Ethereum Enterprise Alliance, which we're looking at here. Absolute gravy. Some of the plans in the work for F2 is mind-bendingly sick. The corporate interest in F makes me bullish alone. Don't fall for the doom, folks. Uh, you know, the black pill. F will fail porn. I don't personally agree. The future is bright. Burn out your retinas bright. Uh, grab a white stick and ask for another blast of that gravy uh, bright. Now, the vast majority of crypto operates on Ethereum in one form or another, even Bitcoin in the form of WBTC. Every single transaction on the network needs Ethereum as gas, sometimes two plus two just equals four, doesn't it? As I was getting ready to make this as well, this came to my attention. Reddit's blockchain based point system confirmed to be on Ethereum. We can see here on Eric.s Twitter account. This is huge, huge for some context. Reddit has a higher Alexa rank than Netflix. Net freaking flicks. Uh, it's in the top 20 most visited websites in the world, probably in the top 10. This could very well be the most bullish slash adoption driven moment in the history of crypto like Reddit or not. I must say I'm not the largest fan, but around half a billion, yes, with a B, weekly Reddit users using up votes on F. Uh, it's just wild, folks, wild. Uh, Reddit says uh, this uses the same technology as Bitcoin to guarantee that only you as a user use your own points and only you control them. Uh, more from Reddit as well. There's a long, long thread on this. So what happens is community points are going to be stored as standard ERC 20 tokens, uh, nothing on the Ethereum network connects to your real name or real identity. So your identity isn't going to be attached to uh, anything stupid you might say on Reddit if you go on there a lot. Uh, sounds good, but we'll have to see how that is implemented. It is interesting, no doubt. F2.0 uh, will scale. Uh, they will hit the TPS capability they are aiming for. This uh, gravy is going to make uh, MasterCard, Visa and PayPal face the wall in shame and say, sorry, mommy, I've been a bad boy. But lots of ifs, but so many smart people driving F, it's uh, hard to see a big downside to it. Staking collateral is 32F, but exchanges will surely support F staking uh, on exchanges. It is normally set up for uh, rewards, uh, fixed rate. Rewards are usually less than uh, you would get if you set up the hard way yourself. They've got to make money after all. Uh, but the rate should still be attractive, I think. Um, if you run a node yourself, suicide stack, in my opinion, would be 320F. It's quite a stack of US dollar ridge. At the time I'm making this video, it's $160 per F. So there we go. I realize that's outside of most people's budget. Uh, I think generational wealth stack is 3.2 KF. Fuck, that would be awesome, Vit, if you're watching my F address is in the video description, or you can DM me on Twitter. You're a legend, sir. So, stack and stack hard, in my opinion, not financial advice, but F is probably, and I'm saying this unironically, the next BTC when F goes proof of stake, I think proof of work coins, including the king itself, Bitcoin, will suffer. It's just my two guay, shall we say. In conclusion, 
some fucking whack plans are in the works on Ethereum. Any sensible portfolio should have F in it. In my honest opinion, uh, at one hundred sixty dollars an F, it's a bargain. If it ever goes down to a hundred bucks, well, it's Christmas, Hanukkah, all your uh, religious holidays and your birthdays rolled into one. I can't see that happening. One hundred sixty dollars is a steal long term. Anyway, again not financial advice. Remember, if you want the best coins, think of the most necessary projects supporting the infrastructure of this space, the crypto space. I'm highlighting the gravy there. Also, stop comparing Ethereum and Bitcoin. It is pointless. They are chalk and cheese. Both the butter that you heat up and ladle on those pancakes and give to your sugar mama, the original Chad coins. No doubt about it. BTC and Ethereum all love here. One big bro hug all round. Until next time, it's been emotional. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter at CryptoFrog202. Stack for Chad! <laughs>